All right, next we have our penultimate presentation, uh, Sean Wickcomb, Rapidly Mapping the Sprawl, all yours. All right, thanks, Brian. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to give my talk today. I'm talking about rapidly mapping the sprawl in Scottsdale, Arizona, one of the fastest growing cities in the country. Um, my name is Sean Whitcomb and my OSM username is Mycota. Scottsdale, Arizona is northeast of Phoenix. It's a pretty big city area-wise, 184.5 square miles and very wealthy, uh, over $100,000 median household income. It is rapidly, rapidly growing with uh, currently 241,000 residents. It's seen 11% growth from 2010 to 2020. So the goal uh, for, for this project was to get every single missing building on the map. Um, and uh, the way I did that, was by going to the Scottsdale OpenGIS data website. And luckily Scottsdale releases all of their GIS data under the ODBL license, which is fully compatible with OSM. That made it super easy to get it incorporated into Esri's map with AI database. Um, all I had to do was reach out to the OSM team at Esri and ask them to add the building footprints um, and took them a couple months to get it done. But um, you can see here, they took all of the, the building footprints that were on the Scottsdale website, put them up into uh, the Map with AI database um, and made it available for Rapid and other editors to use. The data, unfortunately, were last updated in 2021, so a little behind. So I'm sure there's been a lot of growth since then, but we're, we're you know, close at least. The um, Once it was in the Rapid editor, I decided to use Rapid. I, I usually use JAWSM, but I really wanted some experience with Rapid, and I'm glad I did this so that I could really understand all the features in Rapid. Um, but you can see here that on the left, the the data from the Scottsdale data set is almost perfect geometry. I just love these building footprints um, compared to the Microsoft database in, uh, in you know, the purplish color here, really wonky shapes there that require a lot of extra editing. The only big problem is that for some reason, the positioning on the buildings was off, but it was always in sort of random direction. So I had to do a lot of manual shifting around just to get them in the right places. Um, I started doing this just sort of willy nilly all over the city, but then I realized I needed to be more, uh, you know, precise about how I was doing the process, my workflow. So I set up my own uh, tasks in the OSM US Tasking Manager. Thank you so much for that. It's been super, super helpful for projects like this. Um, and you can see here kind of the before and after of one of the areas I mapped, putting every single building on the map that was not in that area previously. Um, this is a really useful tool if you're not familiar with it before, after.bato.io uh, for, for seeing your before and after work if you forget to take those screenshots. Uh, I did have some issues. I didn't realize that every single building in a lot would have the same address tag on it, including carports, garages, sheds. It's not that big of a deal, but I don't really like that. So I went through and cleaned up a lot of those duplicate addresses. Plus some buildings like you see on the right um, had two addresses per building with a semicolon between them. And I had to go in and see what was the correct address on those. The final result is that I managed to get over the course of, I don't know exactly, maybe three, four months. Um, it took me uh, to, to get about 16,000 buildings added, and there's only about 100,000 buildings in Scottsdale. So this was a huge chunk of buildings that were missing from this, uh, you know, pretty important city here in my area. You can see, you know, close up there, but then on the right, you can see every single spec on there represents a different building that I added all over the city. And now it's your turn. So if you are interested in doing this in your own city, it's pretty easy as long as you can find data with the appropriate license. So if it's under the ODPL or Open Database License or Public Domain, uh, you can reach out to Esri's OSM team, ask them to add it to Map with AI. Uh, the email address is osm at esri.com. It'll take them a few months. I know they're pretty backlogged right now, but then once they're in a rapid or, you know, you can get them get to them through JAWSM with the Map with AI plugin, it makes it really easy to add really nice looking buildings. And then I hope to see your talk at the next Mapping USA about the city that you mapped. Thanks, Sean. That's awesome. You can come and map in Rhode Island anytime.